Hello, welcome back to Big Lou TV. Right then, so I see UMK have been releasing all of their songs for Eurovision this year, and so thought, thought so. I thought like this week, then I'm gonna sit through and listen to all of the songs, and I thought, well, I'll start off with the Erasmus, and I'll probably do the other sort of rock metal song that I've heard is in this selection first. These will be the first two I do. And um, I'll tell you what I think. And of course, the Rasmus, I remember their song years, was it In the Shadows? Because I was on sort a of teenager when it came out and that did very well. So um, I don't know much about the band apart from that, really. So that, they must have had some big hits back then. And are they actually Finnish? I, because I was unaware of you know, what nationality they actually are. So tell me, guys, if you know. Let's give it a listen. I'll tell you what I think. Now, I will say the Rasmus songs like that big hit they had it wasn't one of my favorites back in the day but i knew it and i heard it and a lot of people my friends were playing it um so let's give it a listen have we got a winner on our hands there's a lot of yellow in the thumbnail and everything take gentle starts Okay. It's building. Keeps lifting the notes. Okay, there's the chorus name. Yeah, okay. It's it's good. It's a good start. And I'm assuming they're going to be building as this song goes on. Uh, it's got a clean sound to it. And it's not too, too much for you. Especially for the regular view who doesn't listen to this sort of music often. So, although they might ramp it up. Let's listen to more, some more. It's a pleasant song though. I like this bit of the verses. It keeps rising, the level of the song. This would do well though. I think worldwide this could be a very good song though. It's very radio friendly. Done a decent video too, haven't they? I like the yellows and the blacks. But I'm just going to briefly pause it for copyright before it looks like they're going to be reaching their finale. So I can see then why people are quite happy with this. I see it's got a quite a high view count already. Um, and like I say, with Maniskin winning last year, it might be making sort of rock, pop, metal a bit more accessible or bands thinking, yeah, why don't we compete? Um, so this, and obviously they must have a fairly big fan base behind them already. So it could do very well. Yeah. It's a good song, this. Europe would love this, I think. Do 
จ้จ้าเต้าเจ้าเต้าน่า they know how to finish it well done so I'll put it there so interesting Finland this is the first song I've heard of course from your selection so I can't really compare this yet but if this is, this is a high quality entry so it's gonna need something pretty good to beat it I feel um, I don't know if it had that wow factor that it would win an entire contest like Eurovision. But being no doubt, I think you would definitely be a finalist if you chose this. And I could see top 10 quite easily because it's easily accessible. I think it was well put together, the song, quite catchy. I knew it was Jezebel and... I like the colour schemes. I think it brings it like that to the stage too. Pretty cool. It would stand out. Um, instrumentals. I love the verses. It's sort of built in stages. Um, big Louvre star rating of eight. Yes, because it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I think I could see it on a playlist. And Europe, generally, especially like Eastern Europe and Central, like Germany, they love their sort of rock, pop sort of entries. So it would do well with a lot of countries, get a lot of votes. So, I think, good one there, Finland. If you choose it, um, you won't be, you'll do pretty good. But there's still others to listen to, and so I have to let you know how I feel after I've heard the others as well. Okay, look out for them, because I'll be posting them all this week on Big Lou TV. Okay, see you later, people. Give us your opinions. Bye!